humans really keep dreaming forever like this? Will it ever end? We might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so much that people can tolerate. Especially those whose health is compromised to begin with. Like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've got to put a stop to this! I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it oh. really just be a coincidence? Even you don't know the reason? The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any... Come on... Those spaces remind me of... dreams. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of... The Grand Sage said... Celebrate the birth of that god? Could it mean... I know, right? No, no, no. Why did they have to base... Even you don't know the reason? The Academy Traveler, do you have... Okay. 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 Celebrate the birth of God. I didn't have any more questions. Deceiving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the Subzerus Festival, Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. A sun and a moon? <sighs> Nahida's talking and Rick. Oh, we're out of time today! I'll tell you how to break free of the Samsara tomorrow. See you then. If we remember you tomorrow... Nahida. Good morning, Nahida! Uh, wait. Now that Paimon remembers everything, should we instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? <sighs> hey! What's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way! Are... Are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. No way... Ooh! I'm getting teary-eyed. Paimon can't believe it. Wait, so what about that other Dunyarzad? Just what is she? Is she also going to just... She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Puppets are stiff and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just there as filler. You know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired her! So you do remember her after all! Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom, so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she still... Piss me off. This part pissed me off. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. This is the second time I'm pissed off because of a because of the story. First was Rue, the kid from Inazuma, the the cloudy island. I forgot what island is called. 
I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subseris Festival with so many regrets. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? Although the sub Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So... How should we find that per- Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Don't doubt me. You're charging, right? Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination. Imagination? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind. And the server really will. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. How are we going to find them, though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. And even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, uh, during this time, I'll be out of town. Why? Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the Traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Naryango! Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. Hmm. Huh. Paimon's still a little upset that we've come this far, only if she was such a good person, with such a simple wish. But fate was a... Yeah. Saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going with... We mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the Samsara for her sake. Paimon's wondering, do you think the Sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? Huh. That's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control. Like Nahida! So, who do you think the host of the dream is? Oh, that would make sense! Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is a symbol of the whole of Zeru's festival. Let's go ask him some questions. No way. <laughs> the 
a shortcut? I should use this shortcut later if we're going back to Nahida. But she said she will be out of town, so we might not even get to use it. Hmm, you're back. You left in a hurry last time. Everything's fine. Do An experiment. Could you make a wish? You want me to make a wish? Is that a new sub? Less questions, more wishes. Okay. Okay. My wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm a little Aww. nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Oh. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. Hmm. She's always so gentle and kind. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her, or... So... Do you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, <laughs> oh, is it that obvious? When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy sub -Zeru's festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her Knight of Flowers for the rest of my life. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like, okay. I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh. Oh! You're. What? Fucky? Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yelda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> uh, nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. Uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. We're gonna go through every stall again. It's pissing me off this quest right here. I can't even skip it. I'm skipping it. It seems like everyone who knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she... My lady, step back. That sounds like Dia! Oh, right. This is when Dunyarzad bumps into the kidnapper. Oh, we're gonna huh? play. But Dia can handle them. Hey, Traveler! Let's fight. Oh, what? We're going back. Are we using the... Why aren't we using this one? Why aren't we using this one? Where does this lead to? See, I remember it. I still don't get it. This map. <gasps> oh, it's you. Great timing. Please take. Hey, this is my job. The homie Yanni's pay me, not you. You. Ugh, fine, all right. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not like I don't trust your. Anyway, watch yourself. So you got yourself some backup. <laughs> mm. Gather! Next on the agenda. Oh, the jungle. <laughs> Try to keep up! No more tricks! I need you! No touching! My action after... Two hours and 14 minutes of recording. All these cuts are missing. Take that! Where do you think you're going? It took too long with this one. Two K? Hey, man. 
born of ice and frost. Why am I hitting him? Thank goodness I have gone you. Traveler? Were you just taking your anger out on those guys? I'm fine. <sighs> you and Nahida both. Dunyarzad wouldn't want... Oh, and speaking of her, I don't... remember how during the first Sub-Zero's festival before the Samsaris, she said it was because she had forgotten something. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is... Yeah, even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably... This is the place! Hey! The windows are unlocked! Okay. Uh... I'm a... This was only a temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing in... Should we open it? What? I have to read it. I have to read it. Come on. Okay, let's skim through it. After almost 16 days, I was able to get those notes written before it's uh, zero. What is it? As you and, you and Paimo will probably continue to read it. So I will be able to get this to you. Uh, and I was going to skip this, but they name dropped this. This is a good idea of football. I think concerning this book is not created from the series of it. I think that's what I'm doing. I think for so many people, I'm afraid there are a few. There are very few and not much of ours. Still, I don't think there are even such Never feels water supply, but once contaminated, of course you can to go to a rare bar. But one day people suddenly found the water. We took a book in and said that the green light was near the water. They realized that everyone believed it was the one part of the water that work. That's not quite possible. The, the, the contamination of the water is with the Maya, Maya's brother will take me to the same thing. They were not real dead. After Mama passed away. Mama. I was very afraid to talk to them, but one day, from one day, Wow, Junior's on oh. bow all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were away. This is not helping me, man, with the new background music. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about, she must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even think her. Way behind schedule. Where was the shortcut? Why aren't you bringing me to the shortcut, you liar? Deja vu part Come two. to think oh. of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. 
Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Denier's aunt feels like an eternity ago. still remembers when we were sitting here and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked there will always be frustrations in life but i know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets that was what the real dunyarzad said wasn't it does that mean yes traveler oh so she's still just a puppet but just now, how come... What? Where are we going this time? We're gonna... Dance? <laughs> I actually wanna figure out these shortcuts, man. Hey, why do we go down this way? Okay, just remember the the forging spots there. And we're going down here. Okay, right. And we're going down platform right there. Stage. Cutscene of her dancing. If you continue to resist, we will the Grand Sage is our oh. Fight, fight, fight. Move. Uh, traveler? Uh, you don't have to get involved. Traveler? Traveler? What the heck are you doing? If you get arrested by the academia, that's another day gone to waste! Wait! They're not reacting! Have they been scared st- Oh, of course! If this is the sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this! So they're just substitute. What is this? What happened to the Grand Sage and his entourage? <laughs> like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real body stars went extinct after her death. Yes. Oh. The Greater Lord brought forth new Padisaras in memory of the Goddess of Flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shape. She's alive. Ah, that beautiful shade of purple. Aren't these flowers real Padisaras? Just like the ones from the legend? I didn't even notice. Tanyarzad. Did you find these? But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, uh huh? Close your eyes. <laughs> you guys are acting weird. Hmm. Hey! They disappeared! So we <gasps> lose the host. What a surprise! Purple body Saras don't exist in the real world anymore. But in Nilu's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage. It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assume yeah, yeah, there yeah, will be So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu? But if we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. How should we make Nilu realize that? Am I dreaming? Huh? Yes. <laughs> so I'm right. Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzerus festival? Wrong guess, but you aren't completely wrong either. The point, as far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream. Yeah, but have you heard the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Archon. Ooh, sounds familiar. Dinyarzad told us a story like that. Yep. 
But in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's his piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the first sage, as if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too The Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. His wife, lying next to him, said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City, and founded the Academia. Hmm. So, the first sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? Yes. But his faith and determination were conveyed to the Dendro Archon, so she blessed him in the form of a dream. Paimon understands where you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection. But we really gotta wake up soon, like the sage in the story! I see. Well, it just so happens that today's sub Zero's festival is almost over t Just dance. Cause we've been at this for so many days. Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of sub Zero's as beautiful as we can. Here we go. <laughs> well, we became an animal to fly. <laughs> It is over, everyone. I dedicate this to our god, the dance of Sub Zerus. I didn't expect the sound to be like this. I like it. feels She's not in her room. What happened? Huh? What usual A 
I saw Catherine. Well done, Traveler and Paimon. What? And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the Subsairs Festival for me. What is he going I'm on? I'm sorry, who are... Dunyarzad! <laughs> You're okay! Oh, don't scare us like... Oh, a Traveler, Paimon. I have something amazing to tell you. I just had a dream. And I saw Nilu performing the dance of Subzerus. Why is Catherine here? What? <laughs> How many constellations is there? One. Catherine, what are you doing here? You're actually Nishida, aren't you? Like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Subzerus Festival. We did? Oh yeah, she was walking around. And Dunyarzad, did you save her? It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm, how about by the traveler's favorite bench? <sighs> What's going on? Why are you two so excited to see me? It's actually been much longer. Oh? Strange. Was I really asleep that long? My the bench back here. Piss me off. Is there really a bench next to the waypoint? Oh, it is. Let's talk about Dinyar's on first. It's such a relief that she's... Mm -hmm. After we parted on the last day of the Subzerus Festival, I left the city and saw what the Traveler had described. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long, though. It will return to its original dream, where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible, but it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. A literally dying dream. So it looks like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end! Not a moment too soon! Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Hmm. I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. All right. You two must have a lot of other questions oh, for wow. me, right? Here we go. After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. But why are you... Ca okay, there is a question. I saw the dream in Avidia Forest. At the Avidia Forest? Forest, there was this incense that made the traveler fall unconscious. And you also heard someone's voice, right? It said world and forget me. Yeah, so you do know. We've been wanting to ask you what that was about. And if the red sky was related to Conria. Hmm. It seems like the traveler established a connection to Ermensoul. That was a message left by Greater Lord Rukadavata's residual consciousness in Ermensoul. Perhaps her last memory before she died. As you two probably know, Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. So is Ruka Devata? Wait, who is Ermansoul? Is it just really the tree? A message from Greater Lord Ruka Devata? We thought it was from the Scarlet King. The Scarlet King? That god who died even longer ago? Uh, some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? Uh, I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermensoul seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned the academia about this many times, but people still keep falling victim to it. 
But I believe this is the key to saving Ermin's soul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermin's soul? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermin's soul is sick! Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. No, we must decipher its secrets. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermansoul's fate, as well as to that's. <laughs> to be accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. Uh, how did you do that? Oh. Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousness? Theoretically, I can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha terminal, my consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. I've always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I just borrow this bionic Sinjnayan puppet. She is a robot uh, android. Uh, hold on! Did we just learn some deep dark secret? So Catherine is... No. Wonder Paimon felt something was off about her. <laughs> she sh she does not what about puppet. your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Suristana? That story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Sumeru. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristana. Ostensibly for the sake of protecting you, but I've hardly heard from them since. However, I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata instead of me, a symbol of her passing. So the sages basically put their new archon under house arrest? How dare they! Uh, why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. And I... I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, the Academia is also more proficient at governing this country. My existence has little meaning. Hey, that's similar to Zhongli. You got a lot of believers. Just look at the sub -Zero's festival. Everyone who showed up truly loves you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. Trying to find a way to save Ermansoul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Every once in a while, I will also take up the duties of the God of Wisdom and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. There has never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path, and what they hope to achieve. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, if the Traveler hadn't broken the sub Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seemed to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. I think they're deliberately trying to hide Oh! That reminds Paimon! In Gundarvaville, there was a sage who had invited Tainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. 
You mean how the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time. No one's noticed something's up? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the Sage's misdirection. Misdirection? The Sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumer, even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the Sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. That's similar to... Riding Shogun when she strips everyone of their vision. Here, they just strip everyone of their dream. Besides, Greater Lord Ruka Devata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> anyway, the perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. You didn't ask about your sister, are you stupid? <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dinarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I mean... Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the Sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara in the immediate future. Go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. You didn't even ask about your sister or the Abyss. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Okay, I want to check hmm? the booth if Catherine's here. Traveler? Oh. Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? I... Maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh... We happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Thank you. Catherine, we got a secret. Oh, that's it for the Archon quest. Add Astra Ab Nothing, no question. Wow, that was it. That was a uh, annoying part two of Sumeru Archon quest. And yeah, we'll see you in the next update.